Hi everyone, today I'm making a coconut and Himalayan salt soap inspired by Billy from Hippie Mama Artisan Soap on YouTube. Check her out, she's got great videos. I've melted my coconut oil and put that in with my olive oil and castor oil. I've weighed out four ounces of coconut milk and I'll be placing this in with my oils and stirring them around before I incorporate the lye solution. My mixture is around 90 degrees Fahrenheit and I'll be adding my lye solution. I like to put mine through a sieve just to make sure there's no undissolved caustic soda in the mixture. And just remember to wear your gloves at all times when you're making soap. You don't want to get any of the caustic soda on your skin as it can burn. I'm going to stick blend the mixture together just so it gets to a light trace. A trace is when the oils and lye solution have emulsified or thickened. I'm going to divide my mixture into two just so I can do a nice pattern on my salt soap. I'm going to add my colours now. It's much easier to do before you add your salt. The salt will make the mixture become incredibly difficult to work with. So you need to add any fragrances or colours at this point. I'm going to use Catalina Blue, Tuscan Sun and a little bit of Grandeur, all by my micro obsession. You'll need to stick blend both of these mixtures just to make sure the mica is incorporated and there's no lumps left. I'll be adding a coconut fragrance to both of these mixtures. Just be sure to check the usage guides of all fragrances that you use in your soap. You will need to stir these thoroughly though before you start adding your salt. I'm using 11 ounces of fine Himalayan sea salt. This is half the weight of my oils and I'll divide it between the two colours. You need to work pretty quickly now to get the salt into the mixture because it will firm up really fast. I'm going to pour both of these colours into my large pot just to make sure that there's a nice swirl pattern throughout the soap. It's a good idea to use an individual silicon mould. The salt bars are very hard to get out of the mould and they set up really fast. So silicon individual moulds are perfect for your salt bath. You'll still need to bang down your mould just to make sure that there's no air bubbles in your soap. I'm using my paddle pop stick just to make a nice little texture on top of the soap. Now they just need a quick spray with alcohol just to prevent soda ash. I'll be placing my soap into a room temperature oven. This is purely so it's out of the way. Salt bars set up very fast, so I'm going to check on it quite regularly. It should be ready in around three to six hours. It's only been five hours and our soap's ready to unmold. Salt bars set up very fast. Carefully pull the sides of your silica mold in all directions. This will make it easier for the soap to pop out. They still have that nice texture on top and still quite smooth on the bottom.
I've really enjoyed making this video and I hope it's inspired you to make your very own salt soap. Thanks for watching.